What do you think, you know, coming in, you didn't have a lot of preparation with this team. It's a, it's a new coaching squad in, in many ways. I know, I know a lot of you have worked with the team before. Would, would you have liked more time with the team coming in before the World Cup? Well, you, you, you will always want more time, but unfortunately we didn't have more time. We've, we had to work with what we, what we, what, what we had. Um, looking back at over, over the eight games that we played, I mean, I personally thought that we should have won four of those. We were very, very close. We just didn't play the big moments well. And hopefully we can learn from that and we can move forward and we can plan for the next one. Roddy, in terms of the team itself, obviously there's been two really close chases where you guys didn't quite get over the line. How's the mood in the camp heading into this one after those losses? Well, you know, surprisingly, um, driving down from um, Durham after the loss, surprisingly the mood in the camp was still good. You know, the boys on the bus were still playing dominoes. The spirit in the dressing room is tremendous. And that can only serve us well going forward. So we're happy from that point of view. We're not Obviously, we're not happy losing games, but we're starting to build something. And once we can remain patient and we can keep building, you know, young players are coming through. And once that keeps happening, then things will get a lot better. Uh, Buran has been batting at four and five um, because of his form as much as anything, but he never made a prof professional hundred before the other game. Have you seen him improve as a batsman throughout this tournament? Yes, I mean, I've always, I've always believed in, in Nicholas. I mean, I, I, I went to Dubai with him and I saw him play the best white ball innings I've ever seen anybody play where he got 148 in a, a youth World Cup game against Australia out of 208. So I'm not really surprised um, by his talent. What has surprised me that it's taken as long as this to really come true and I hope that he can, he can build on this now and he can really cement his place for a very long time. Um, obviously this World Cup hasn't gone exactly as you'd planned but what can you take out of this final game? Kind of what, what would you like to see from the team? Well. Only walking in here um, a couple of minutes ago, I remember we, our backs were against the wall against um, England. We lost badly at Birmingham. Um, everybody was saying the final day that we were going to lose to England badly as well. And we chased 340, 380 down. So hopefully tomorrow, with backs against the wall, we can, we can come up with that kind of performance and we can finish on a high. Uh, Roddy, you've used as many as um, four different players uh, at the uh, opening slot. Uh, would you put that uh, instability down to some of the, you know, um, some of the problems within the team? Well, yes. I mean, if you if you look at if you look at most of the teams in the World Cup, they had settled, settled opening partnerships, but that wasn't down to form. That was down to to people being injured and all the different things. So we we weren't. You're not we're not going to cry, but obviously missing Evan Lewis to injury, missing. Um, Russell Chuinji as well does does hamper the team a bit, but you've got to be able to do deal with things like that over a long period of time. So we really can't put it down put it down as an excuse. We just we just didn't play the big moments well, like I said. And just quickly in terms of fitness, can you give us a fitness update as well? So Kima missed the last one. Well, that was that was an injury. He, he was sick, so he he was out today. He had a ball today, so hopefully he should be fit and ready for tomorrow. Surprising, no Rihanna questions. Thank you. <laughs>